Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for stopping by the warehouse. My name's Chase and today we're going to be going over how to choose the right hockey stick for you. So we have three types of categories of sticks. First you have the traditional wood one-piece stick. You have the combination of a shaft and a blade and then you have a true one-piece composite stick. And what we're going to be doing is going over the key features and the key differences from one another so then you can be educated and make the right decision for you. So starting us off with the most traditional as well as the least expensive choice, uh, we're going to be looking at the wood sticks first. We have two options when we talk about the wood sticks. So starting with the more traditional of the two is going to be the full wood shaft and blade. Uh, it's going to be a one piece stick to offer a really traditional feel as well as some good durability. And then for players looking to play outside or just someone who wants maybe a stick that might last a little longer, uh, they do come with an ABS fiberglass reinforced blade so you could be using it on any types of outdoor surfaces. It's going to have some really great durability. So now going into our next category which is going to be the shaft and blade combination. You have all kinds of great options to choose from whether it's a different type of shaft, a different type of blade, and then the ability to swap out blades in case you break one or if you're going from an indoor to outdoor surface is amazing. So uh, it's really easy to swap out. All you got to do is heat up this glue that's at the end of this blade with either a heat gun or a blow dryer and you get that nice and hot and you slide it into the bottom of the shaft and you let it set and you're going to be ready to go. So now looking at our two different shaft types or shaft options, we have a traditional or standard shaft and then we also have a tapered shaft. Now the differences between these two is that on the tapered shaft, as you get closer down to the bottom where the hosel and the blade meet, uh, it starts getting smaller in diameter compared to that traditional or that standard shaft that keeps that uh, same diameter all the way through. Now the big advantage that the tapered shafts provide when they do this is that you'll see in a second that the blades require a lot less material so it makes it a lot less blade heavy than the traditional or standard and it also provides a more responsive feel closer or a closer feeling to a true one piece composite. So now looking at the differences from a taper to a traditional or standard blade that fits in the different sizes of shafts, you can see as I hold them up next to each other where they fit into the bottom of the shaft just how much more material that these standard or traditional blades are using than that tapered and that's where you can see that big weight savings is gained when you use that uh, tapered shaft. So now talking about the individual blades themselves, here's that full composite one. Uh, this is the 20K blade, it's the exact same construction that you see in the 20K one piece stick uh, as far as the blade goes. So you're getting some great technology and you throw this in a high quality shaft and you're getting a really responsive, lightweight stick, especially when you go to that tapered. So it's really great to see. You're going to get a high performance out of that combination. Now, we also have a wood, uh, full wood construction as well. And uh, what I like about this is that you could throw this in a composite shaft and you're going to get those new school technologies, uh, that great carbon fiber construction and you throw a wood blade in it and you have that tradition, traditional feel. So that's really great to see and these are really inexpensive as well. Just like the fiberglass ABS reinforced blades, that is another great uh, arsenal to this shaft and blade combination because you could be using these great 20K blades indoors. You want to go outside and play with your friends, just grab that heat gun, swap out your nice composite blade, throw in an ABS, and you're going to be able to play on any type of outdoor surface. So now going into our last category, which is going to be the one-piece composite sticks. Now these are going to be the lightest the most well balanced as well as the most responsive out of all three categories. Uh, these are also going to be made up of one material, generally a carbon fiber or fiberglass that makes up the shaft as well as the blade. And then these are, uh, including the blade and shaft combinations, these are going to have a unique feature that you can choose different flex profiles. Now when I say flex profile, I mean the kick point of the stick, which is where uh, when you're taking your shots, the stick flexes most. We have three different types and what I have here is the most traditional of the three, which is the mid kick point. So it's going to be flexing right in the middle of the stick or near the middle of the stick when you're taking shots for the most part. And the advantage that this provides is that you can load the most amount of energy into a mid kick stick. So you're going to get the most power out of the mid kick stick. Now these are perfect for the guys who aggressively lean or put a lot of load into their stick while they're shooting or the guys who are always looking for those one timers or those big slap shots. Now the closest one next to that is going to be the low kick stick. Now this is going to move the kick point from that mid location down closer to the bottom of the blade and what this does is that it allows you to fully maximize or load the stick quicker in a shorter amount of time so you can get it off quicker. 
So in turn, you're gonna be able to surprise the goalie with a lightning fast shot. So these are uh, great for the guys who look for those quick wrist and snap shots really close to the net, but you can still get a good amount of power out of these, just not as much as the mid kick. And then finally is gonna be the newest one, which is uh, the variable kick point or the constant flex profile. Um, you're not really gonna have a mid or a low kick point on this stick. It's gonna be uh, what they call a custom kick point. So if you're shooting a really high shot uh, for like a wrist or a snap shot and your hands up on the stick, it's gonna adapt to that, gonna give you an optimized shot. And then once you start moving it down for a big boom and slap shot, it's really gonna give you a lot of power. So uh, a lot went into the designing these variable kick points and they offer a lot of great advantages. So that was just a quick look at the three different types of hockey sticks. For even more advice, be sure to check out our blade selection video as well as our flex and length video. And these are all available at InlineAndIceWarehouse.com.